today we're going to talk a little bit about planting plants because a lot of people seem to have the wrong idea of how plants get planted. So first thing, let's pull a plant out of the pot and what we're face left with are the roots and the soil. Now when a plant is grown in containers, it has to be grown with a soil mix that will drain very quickly. If not, if you get a heavy rain, the plants will die because they'll rot. So most mixes today are either peat moss based or pine bark based. This happens to be a bark based mix. When you plant, the mix needs to come off the roots so that the roots are then in contact with the soil that you're planting in. This is a very common mistake. People tend to be afraid to damage the roots and they plant and the plant then doesn't get accustomed to the new soil. So what we want to do on most plants is to begin by pulling the roots apart. And this is very simple on most plants. And just pull and shake. And the roots then are going to be very clean and then they will be in contact with the soil that you plant them in. For example, once we get this uh, planted, we go into a bed, and this is obviously a well-prepared bed, and dig a hole. Now you often hear you need a hole much larger than the plant, much wider than the plant. That's really not the case in a well-prepared soil. That's only the case if you do a poor job in preparing your soil. So if the soil is prepared, all you need to do is have something that the roots will uh, go in very comfortably. So we'll drop those right in, and then fill in around the plant, and your plant is ready to grow. Very simple. Now, not all plants are that simple. For example, this plant here. This is what's called a root-bound plant. You hear that term a lot, but people don't understand what that means. In a well-grown container, any plant will be root-bound in about 12 weeks. So it's not a bad thing. It just means you have to take that into account when you're planting your plant. So here it is full of roots, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pull. This particular plant has a very large underground storage uh, organ. We're going to get most of the roots actually off and let the plant re-root into the ground. Now, some people do it different ways. Some people like to break the plants apart. Some will come apart very simply, and then you can plant from there. Other plants have a very extensive root system, such as this yucca here. Uh, and this would definitely qualify as a root-bound plant. Not that that is a bad thing. Now, some people use a couple ways to deal with root-bound plants. Some take a knife and they like go in and cut. And they'll cut a couple different ways. And I see we have an assistant here. And if we cut, we can break that apart. Now, that will work. It's not ideal. We still want to do something a little more. And you've got a couple options. You can actually just beat it up against something hard like a rock and get that... that bark base mix off, or you can simply take a water hose. And you can do something very similar and just wash the soil off. But the key in any way is just to get as much of that soil as you can off. You don't need this to be 100%, but you want to get those roots spread out and open. So that the plant, again, the roots can contact the soil that you're planting in, not the soil or soil mix that the plants were grown in. So root bound is not a problem. Uh, we hear people all the time say, well, don't buy a root bound plant, knock it out, see where the roots. When you're buying perennials, all you're buying is roots. Because in the wintertime, well, most of them, unless they're evergreen, there is no top. So roots are a good thing. As much root as you can is a good thing. You simply need to know how to manage that. If you have woody roots, then you will need to come in and be sure they're untangled. But in most cases, perennial roots actually die each season. So once we got those roots off, we will come in again, dig our hole. And you, on most plants, you want to plant it the same depth it was in the container. That's a good general rule. There are a few plants that actually you want to plant deeper. But uh, in very few cases do you want to plant something where it's actually out of the ground. So this is a good lesson in how to go in and get your plants established, get them out of the pots. If you wind up leaving them in the pots, remember that in a nursery, plants are usually watered at least once a day. If you only water it once a week, you're gonna lose a lot of your roots before you ever get the plants in the ground. So a very important safety tip to keep those plants happy 
uh, once you purchase them and get them established in the ground.